In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the key typed function, which can be used for any alphanumeric key input, whereas the key press function, shown in a different video, can be used for special keys such as the arrow key, shift, backspace, etc. First thing you want to do is go ahead and create the function key typed below draw. So function key typed, parenthesis, parenthesis, open bracket, and we'll just put a com comment here, open key type, and then enter down a little bit and say close key type so we do not forget. Um, just like any other key press function or uh, any if statement you've ever done, a key type is an if statement here. So if key equals equals single quotation and then the alphanumeric key you want to use. So for example, let's say R, like so. You have to make sure you're using single quotation and you close it. Then we can put the code that we want to happen whenever we press R. So right now I have a rectangle here that's by default white. I'm going to change the fill color to red, uh, which is of course 25500, every time I press R. So we have if key equals equals R, fill set to red inside our key type function. Let's see what happens here. So I have my white rectangle by default. I press R, it turns red. I could go ahead and I'm just going to copy this code and paste it again. And this time we'll say if I press, say, green, I want to set the fill to be green here. And we'll even set it up for blue as well. So if, if we press B, it'll be blue. Let's see if that works. So we have white by default, red, green, and blue. Perfect. It's important for me to point out that these are our lowercase. If you were to put the uppercase letter, you would need to be in caps lock or shift for it to work. 